Hey guys, welcome to Stampin' with Alicia. Today is day two in my mini series of the Succulent Garden Suite. Yesterday we created two cards using the stamps. Today we're going to create two, well, one card, but you'll see two, just concentrating on the dies. And then tomorrow I have a, well, not tomorrow, um, Thursday, I will have a special project um, using the dies as well. It has nothing to do with cards or anything, but it's really cool and I'm really excited. Um, but you use the dies and cardstock and ink and put together this really cool um, decorative piece, which I will show you on Thursday. So today, let me go ahead and get to the supplies. Today, we are going to be using the cardstock pack that is in the kit, or the suite, sorry. So here's the cardstock pack. It is mint macaron, old olive, tip top taupe, and then we're using the DSP and the dies, of course, the stamps. We're only using one stamp and that's to stamp our sentiment. Then we are using the dies that come in the kit. Sweet. Kit sweet, you know what I mean. <laughs> so I've taken out the dies I'm going to use and when I was creating this card, I had some left over, so we're going to try to incorporate them in our project we do together. But I will show you um, me cutting some of these dies because I do need some more. So I'll show you this in a second. So the stamp set, the dies, fine tip glue pen. This is some ribbon. It is the 3 8 of an inch metallic combo pack ribbon. It comes in gold and silver, and this is in the celebration catalog. So if you make a $50 purchase, you can choose to get these two for free. They're really, really nice. So we'll be using the silver today. You need your bone folder, your fast fuse, or any adhesive. Ink colors are Tip Top Taupe or Sweet Sugar Plum. I'm not sure which one I'm going to use today. It's going to be either one of these. Then I have some scraps. Sweet Sugar Plum, Mint Macaron, Old Olive, Tip Top Taupe, and then a scrap of Designer Series paper. So we're going to get to this. I just am not sure what I'm going to use, but I do have my pile of scraps. And for my card, I have my card base, five and a half by eight, scored at four and a quarter to create this. Um, it's not a side, this is typically a side folding card, but we're flipping it, making it a wide top folding card. And then I have my DSP, which measures five and a quarter by four. And then I have a strip of DSP, which is actually just the reverse side. And it's about an inch and five and a quarter. Okay, so let me clear off my space and we'll get started. All right, so this is the card I created. It is a Mother's Day card. I just love it. Um, I just love how the succulents look, the die cuts, they're beautiful. Um, the ribbon, I think, complements it really well. It's just very soft and perfect for a Mother's Day card. I actually think I'm going to give this one to my mom. So, and I did this as a top folding card. So, let's go ahead and do the ribbon. Um, I cheat with doing ribbon because I, for the life of me, some days are better than others. I cannot put I cannot tie a ribbon into a nice little bow. So if you are like me, I'm going to show you a way that you can kind of cheat and it looks like you are actually putting a beautiful bow together. So I'm going to take my fine tip glue and I want the ribbon to cover where the two, um, two pieces of paper meet. Let me zoom in. There we go. So I'm just going to make a dot. And I'm going to take the end of my ribbon and just kind of press it in there. And then I may make another dot over here. And of course, if you are a pro at tying a bow, by all means, do what works for you. Then I'm going to give me some slack here open my card carefully and kind of tighten it 
and then loop it around. And I'm just going to cut it right here where the two ends meet. But before I glue this down, I want to open my card up. And then I'm just going to kind of add a glue dot here, maybe here and here. Just so it's not flopping around. And then while we do our die cutting, this will get a chance to dry. And then do a glue dot, or yeah, a drop of glue there. And go ahead and pop that in. Okay, so then I haven't wasted any ribbon, which is nice. I'm just going to attempt to shy a bow. But doing it this way, I can kind of work with it instead of dealing with it being wrapped around my card and I'm trying to tie the bow and the cards buckling and all that stuff. So, let's see if we can get it. See, how's that? <laughs> Sometimes days are better than, better than others. Other days I couldn't tie a bow to save my life. Actually, that's actually okay. So, and having, putting this bow on will help me with placement of my little succulents. Make this a little bit bigger. Okay, we're just gonna go with this. So I'm gonna trim it. and then kind of flatten the middle and then go ahead and add a, a good amount of glue. I probably add way too much, but I'd rather have too much in this case than not enough and my bow flies off. So hold that down. I love this ribbon. I'm, I'm a little picky with ribbon. Like I don't see ribbon and just fall in love with it like I do fabric or paper, but uh, this one I'm really impressed with. I'm even more impressed because it was free. <laughs> so free things are always nice. But it's very, um, you can, it's easy to work with. So I really, I really do like it. Okay, well there's my bow. So I'm gonna set this aside while we do our die cutting. And then by the time we're ready to adhere our dies, that should be dry. Okay, I have taken my big shot and what I want to see is that I already have some of these dies cut out. So I'm going to kind of organize what I have because I don't want to, I don't like wasting cardstock. So I'm kind of see, I'm not going to use those. So I'm going to go to my scrap paper and I'm taking a piece of sweet sugar plum. And I, I don't have any of these colors and I didn't use sweet sugar plum on my card. I kind of wanted to stay more of a, a realistic, I guess you could say, look. But for this one, I want to use the Sweet Sugar Plum because I really like this color. So if you have a magnetic plate, this will work lovely. Since these dies are bigger and I don't have to be particular of where I place them, um, this is actually okay. I'm going to be getting a magnetic plate with my next order. So here are all my die cut pieces. Now obviously I'm not going to use all of these. It would be too much for the card, but I know I want, I'm going to still do kind of the same design, a bigger flower with two smaller ones. So I really want to use the sweet sugar plum. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take all my pieces and I'm going to use my bone folder and you can lay these flat. Nothing wrong with that, especially if you want to mail it. This I probably won't even put in an envelope. If I'm just going to maybe put it in a gift, 
Um, I'll probably just leave it like this or put it in a little bit of a bigger in, uh, envelope. So anyway, I'm gonna curl mine. So what I do is I just gently take my finger and bone folder and just move up. And I mean gently. It doesn't take much to curl this cardstock. So you definitely don't need to be forceful with it. Um, of course, the more force you give, it may bend it more if that's the look you're going for. I just want mine just slightly curved. So I'm going to take my fine tip glue pen, go ahead and add some glue on there, and then go ahead and adhere that down. And I actually may have room, not have room for a third. I may just do two, we'll see. So then I take the next size and I do the same thing. So there is that. Now for my next layer, okay. I think we're going to go with the old olive. Since there's a lot of tip top taupe in this background, more so than the old olive, I think I like the old olive a little bit better. So in my stamp cases, I, um, I put a vent cover. You can get it at Lowe's or Home Depot. They're by the filters and the vents. You can get these magnetic vent covers. So I cut them down and I put them in the back of my stamp cases. And then for extra pieces like this, I take a little resealable bag. You could use an envelope, um, a Ziploc bag, whatever. And I attach that on the inside as well so all these extra pieces would go in my little baggie I'll show you here so here so I have this little bag and I could fit all my extra die cuts and then here is of course I, it's a little sloppy because I had pieces of a magnetic sheet that I didn't want to waste so and then all of them are back here so everything I have this is all I need there is our card I'm gonna go ahead and get these out of the way Now, going back to my scraps, I wanted to, if you see here, I created a banner. I wanted to do that here, but I wasn't sure what colors to use. So I think I'm going to use the mint macaron, and then I'm going to use this side of the pattern paper, the DSP. So let's go ahead, and I'm going to go ahead and stamp this in Sweet Sugar Plum, and we'll see how it comes out. All right, my sentiment says, because of you, I am me. I thought that was a lovely sentiment. So I'm gonna go ahead and ink it up with a sweet sugar plum. All right, that's good. Now I'm gonna trim this. So this banner die is retired. Um, but any, any banner punch will work. You can do a banner just cutting it. It doesn't need to be a punch or anything. If you cut it in the center, then meet the corners in the center, that works. Um, I like the ease of a punch. It's just, boom, there you go. And I'm doing it this way because if I entered the punch, it would cut off this shape. So I'm kind of using it, not what it's intended for, but hey, whatever. So I'm gonna go ahead and I put my glue away, but let me grab it again. I'm gonna take these two pieces. I want my sentiment on the top, so my pattern paper's at the, above my sentiment. So there's some separation between this pattern and this pattern. We're just gonna add some glue and go for it. And there we go, I love this. 
I like this set, but I even love it more now that I've worked with it. So there are the two cards for today. I hope you guys enjoyed this. If you're interested in any of the products I used, I will include links below that will link you to the product. Um, I will also include a link to my shop. Um, I appreciate everyone that has ordered from me. You don't can't even understand how much that means to me and how happy it makes me. So um, if you don't have a demonstrator, I would love to be your demonstrator. Um, if you have any questions about anything, let me know. And remember, every $50 purchase you make, you do get a, um item of your choice in the Celebration Catalog. And today I used the ribbon. So stay tuned for Thursday where I'm creating the project I discussed earlier. And I will catch you guys next time. Bye.